when God blesses us, He blesses us overwhelmingly. Welcome to today's DDRX. The prescription is say a blessing. I want to look at overflowing blessings. The anchoring scripture is still Psalm 107 verse 2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, who will be as redeemed from the hand of the enemy. In Psalm 23 verse 5, the Bible says, in fact, David wrote, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. When God blesses us, He blesses us overwhelmingly. Our cup runs over with His blessing. But you have a lot of responsibility. And that's what we want to look at this week. The first one today is you have to dig it. You have to dig it. To experience overflowing blessing, you have to dig it. In 2 Kings chapter 3 from verse 8, three kings, Israel, Judah, and Edom, they went to battle against Moab. But before the battle, they sought Elisha to give them direction and his blessings. You see the importance of having a leader over us. Elisha asked for a minstrel, and the hand of the Lord came on him and prophesied, you have to dig the ditches before the miracle of water can happen. In 2 Kings 3, 17, For thus says the Lord, You shall not see wind, nor shall you see rain. Yet that valley shall be filled with water, so that you, your cattle, and your animals may drink. You know, everybody needs water. We need it to refresh for life. So you see, to so that they don't become weary, they need the strength, the animals, all of them, so that they could win the war. You know, God said He's ready to do a miracle. He's ready to give you an overflowing blessing, but you need to dig it. You need to dig the trenches. Get your shovel out. To experience the miraculous blessings of God, you need to exert yourself. You need to sweat it out. You need to work hard. You need to own your skills. Don't fold your hands. Bring out your, sho uh, your shovels. You have a role to play. This is adding works to your faith. In James 2, 22, do you see that faith was working together with his works? And by works, faith was made perfect. And in Proverbs 22, 29, do you see a man who excels in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before me, men. So, so say a blessing. Thus says the Lord, the day that I cleanse you from all your iniquity, I will also enable you to dwell in the cities, and the ruin shall be built. The desolate land shall be tilled, instead of lying desolate in the sight of all who pass by. So they will say, this land that was desolate has become like the Garden of Eden and the wasted, desolate, and ruined cities are now fortified and inhabited. Then the nations which are left all around you shall know that I, the Lord, have rebuilt the ruined places and planted what was desolate. I, the Lord, have spoken it, and I will do it. God bless.